Good morning and it's a beautiful spring morning in Cheshire, England. In fact, it's Easter Sunday, so happy Easter if that's your faith. And this year Easter has fallen on the 4th of April. And despite the fact that it is a beautiful, sunny, bright spring morning, it is quite chilly, so it's not quite time to bring the tender exotics out of the outbuilding, but I will be doing that in a few weeks, so please do subscribe and come back and visit. But with it being Easter Sunday, it seems quite fitting to plant some seeds. And I've been gifted a little bag of bee bombs. And I'll tell you a little bit more about bee bombs in a moment. And the whole world seems to be much more aware nowadays of the importance of bees and the role they play in pollinating our food crops. And the damage that's being done by some insecticides. So I was delighted when I was given these bee bombs by Brian. Thank you, Brian. And I'm looking forward to scattering them on the ground. Now in my garden, I have several fruit trees. I have quince, I have plum, I have apples and pears. I've also got a collection of crab apples, which also aid the pollination of the fruit trees. I'm hoping by providing the bees with some wildflowers, they will also come along and help to pollinate my fruit trees. So what are bee bombs? Well, they come in a little bag like this. Let me show you what's inside. There's a little card with instructions and then inside the bag. And let me pour this out onto my hand. And inside the bag are some little plugs of soil. And that soil is impregnated with 18 different species of bee friendly flowers. So let me pop that back in the bag for now. And that's the bag and that's made of hessian, which is probably uh, a natural material and quite recyclable. So let's have a look at the instructions and I need to put my glasses on. Well, firstly, these were handmade in Dorset and I've posted a link to the website in the description box below this video, but essentially it's www.beebombs.com. And as I've already said, bee bombs, 18 species of native wildflower seeds mixed with nurturing soil and protective clay. So that's what they are. Now, how do you plant them? Well, it's really straightforward. Just throw your bee bombs evenly onto clear ground, making sure they have sun and rain. The soil will help them germinate and the clay will protect and dissipate your seeds. Bee bombs are best scattered in spring or autumn. Wildflowers grow a little more slowly than other flowers, so may not flower until a year or more after scattering. So I will scatter these now on the prepared ground that you'll see behind me, and I will update you in a few weeks with the progress. Where each one lands, I'm going to put a cane so that I know where they've landed. Let's move these out of the way. And let's scatter. Now it does say do it randomly, but I think those two have landed too closely to each other. So I'm going to move those over there. So really, essentially what we've got is five little patches. So let's put five markers in to the soil near each one. And these are really just to remind me where they landed because I haven't really weeded this soil properly. So I expect some nettles and weeds to emerge at about the same time as the wildflowers from the bee bombs. And hopefully the bee bombs will be able to compete. So there we have five pieces of wood which denote where five bee bombs have landed on the clear soil. Now, in the instructions, it says sun and rain. So I'm going to give these a helping hand and start them off with a bit of water. Please do subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications bell, comment below, engage, and come back in a few weeks when I'll give you an update
on the progress of the bee bomb wildflowers. Also, in a few weeks' time, I'll be bringing my tender exotics out of winter storage. So if you're interested in red banana plants and colcasias and cannas, do come back in a few weeks' time and I'll tell you all about it.